it's Monday. I don't even know what week it is. It they blur together. I'm just waiting for the coffee to brew and my bagel to broil in the oven being held open by a frying pan so I can eat breakfast and get to work. Um, I'm not awake. So the exciting thing is that I finished another that I finished another puzzle. But I'll show you. So this puzzle, I swear, was so difficult because all of the pieces are basically the same piece. So like if you can see this piece and that piece are like identical. But of course, they only fit in their spot. So I was going to finish this yesterday afternoon after I got done cleaning and then edit the other video that I have. But this took me all evening to put together because it's that difficult. So, yeah. Yep. But it's done. It can be added to the puzzle wall. I'm excited. Bentleyville is done. So that was yesterday's project. Go check out my bagel. I think we're holding up while in quarantine. Not too bored, I would say. Uh, Dylan's been working on grad school, getting his paper done. I've been playing Skyrim, which is a video game. And I've been working on the Bentleyville puzzle, doing a little bit of cleaning work. I think that's the main thing, like why we're not going stir crazy is Thankfully, we are still able to work, so we have like that routine Monday through Friday, eight to five. So that I think is helping our not boredom. Because if we didn't have work, you know, then it would be seven days of okay, what are we doing today? And that that would be a lot. That would be difficult. Um, so that's been very very nice and. Yeah, I think that's about it. I'm gonna watch my bagel so it doesn't burn, drink some coffee, and start the day. And hopefully I wake up a little bit more. Hey, <laughs> talk to you later. Tonight's the night. We're gonna make schnitzel, and spätzle, and sauerkraut. We're gonna have a real authentic German dinner, and I'm so excited. I love schnitzel so much. We're gonna try to make spätzle from scratch. So hopefully that'll go good. Dylan's gonna make that. I'll make the schnitzel. And the sauerkraut you just heat up in a pot. So that's super easy. I'm excited. Right. One egg and a half cup. Yes. What's it supposed to be? It's supposed to be four eggs and up to two cups. So we'll be doing two eggs in here and then up to a half? It'd be put two eggs in there, put it up to a cup. We're trying to do math and it's not going well. What's the recipe supposed to be? Just one more time because I want to make sure we did this one right. Yeah, because we don't want to waste eggs and milk and <clears throat> valuable resources. All right, it's four eggs and enough milk to make two cups. So two, one cup. Two, one cup. We don't have a two cup measuring cup. All we have is a one cup. So we're trying to figure out how to not to screw this up. I don't know how it's going to go. But I think we got it because we're doing- Two to one cup. Yes. Okay. We're doing two eggs to one cup up to with milk and then dumping that in a bigger bowl and then doing it again. 
I'm gonna do it in this bowl. Hopefully this will work. Because we were gonna just have it, which would feasibly be two eggs and up to a cup. I think this worked. I think this is going to work. God only knows. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. This is gonna make a ton of spatzel and hopefully it turns out not. well. But keep you posted. Good. <laughs> Took a bit longer than what we were thinking because we made a butt ton of spatzel. But there it is. In all of its wonderful glory. Oh, I'm so excited. And Chef, how's your spatzel? I'm so good. Yes. We have not had the schnitzel yet. I get a first bite of that. But once we do, it's gonna be good. I can already tell. It's gonna be amazing, I can already tell. But yeah, cooking night was a success. German night! Woo! <laughs> good job, hon. Good job to you, too. You were the sh cook sh on the spatzel. So oh my god. I'm so happy. We have such an amount of spatzel left. It's We're going to be eating it for the next couple days. But it's okay because it's wonderful and amazing and I love it. Alright. Now let's dig in. So it's a couple days after we made schnitzel. I deleted all of the footage of us making schnitzel and spatzel off of my phone before it got backed up onto Google. Yay! And it was so good because we were making the spatzel and then we couldn't get the sauerkraut jar open to save our lives. Oh my God, that was difficult and funny. And I wish you would have seen it, but I deleted all the footage. I'm just very sad. But it's okay. It gives us an excuse to make it again. It turned out great. Totally do it again. And at least I got the beginning part of us trying to figure out the math to do eggs and milk to make fish paint salt. I mean, at least I have that little bit. Because that was basically the entire time. Like we, yeah, we were trying to figure out how to have enough room in our kitchen to do the three stages of the breading for the schnitzel while also having the spatzel going and we uh, it was so much fun it was so much fun and i wish i had kept the footage for it but i was just i was in that mindset of you know just going through deleting stuff never even known on me that it wouldn't have been backed up yet and i was like i don't need this it's already here no no it wasn't so but that's an update for you because I'm still very sad about it and it's two days later because it was quality time. It was so funny that we couldn't get the freaking sauerkraut jar open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I digress, but it's Thursday. I just got off work. Well, off work. Done with work. And... I think we're gonna play Talisman tonight. Super fun board game that we got for Dylan's birthday. Make popcorn. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs>